Let's see here. Okay. We might be live. We might be live. Hey, if you're, if you're in this, let me know in the comments if you can hear us and uh, if everything's working good on that side. So, so I've got, I've got Case here. He's my 13 year old and this is Kenzie, my six year old. You want to say hi? Hi. You have a whole thing of <laughs> cheeses. Like, is that going to be dinner? No. No, we're going to have something else. Maybe. Do you want to show them how cute your hair is? Turn around. Oh my goodness. That is so cute. You let me and my mom call it What'd Jasmine. You, jasmine hair? It's Jasmine hair. I agree with that. That does look like Jasmine hair. Okay. We got 500 people on here. Uh, this is the night. Um, hopefully we'll get some more people coming on. We'll give people a couple minutes to kind of pop in here. This is the night that everyone has been waiting for. This is the night where we change at least two people's lives, and that is we're going to give two dirt bikes away. So I think we've done it 38 other times. I have lost count. It's somewhere right below 40, 38, 39. I don't know if this is 36 or 37 or if it's 37 or 38 or whatever, but we've given almost 40 dirt bikes away now over the last few years. We got 800 people chiming in here, <clears throat> and uh, people are just blowing up in the comments. So it looks like... I think people can hear. Let's see. Did everyone say if they can hear us or not? I think they can. Every once in a while, these um these sweepstakes, it's like I can. We have technical difficulties or whatnot. So I just want to be sure. Yes, people are saying yep, yep, yep. They can hear. Awesome. Okay. So, also in the comments, let me know where you're coming from and if you are super excited. We see a lot of people saying yeah, loud and clear, loud and clear. <clears throat> Um, yeah, the kid, well, somebody said in here that those kids need pizza. They get a little, they get a lot of pizza at dad's house when they, <laughs> when they come and come here. Actually, we have pizza. We have uh spaghetti. We'll have lasagna. We'll do like takeout, you know, sometimes we'll do like grilled chicken. What other things do we have a lot here? Hamburgers. hamburgers. I make hamburgers. Yeah. So I'm not a big chef. Okay. It's, it's their mother that is the chef. So they, they probably eat, well, I don't know what they eat at their mother's now, but anyway, I, it stands to reason they eat better at their mom's house than here. We got 1,100 people on. Okay, <clears throat> so here's how this is going to work. Um, let me kind of just read, it, read some things to you guys. Uh, thank you so much for your patience with these things. I know it, this is the exact, this is the soonest that I could do this sweepstakes. This is the sweepstakes for September. So, and I understand that like, you know, people are going, why does it take three weeks? Well, here's why it takes three weeks. All this stuff has to be done like in a legal way. And it has to be done in a, in like a following all the rules to make sure that it's totally fair. I pay a company called sweepstakes pros. They handle like the legal side of the things and they handle the administration. So I'm the promotion sponsor because I'm sponsoring it and they are the promotion administrator. They administer it. So, excuse me. So they're the ones that like pull, you know, they, they take all the data, aggregate all the data, and then they randomly select 10 finalists, which those 10 finalists are right here in this bowl. We'll, we'll, we'll get to all their names later. I also have their names right here with their contact information so I can text or call them tonight. <clears throat> so the way it works is uh, we have two bikes that are being given away. Um, so guaranteed pe two people are going to win bikes. We have winners from all. Well, we have potential winners here, the finalists from all over the country. And then we're just going to draw out some names here uh, or draw one name as a potential winner, which will be our grand prize winner. Uh, and we'll attempt to get them on the phone at which point those people have the, the people we get on the phone have to answer two of three questions correctly. Okay. The questions are quite easy. Um, the first question is, do you know who I am and do you know what I'm known for or what I'm doing or what I do? Um, this should be fairly easy for anybody on this call to be able to say who I am and what I do. Um, you know, I'm the dirt bike channel owner. I'm Kyle Brotherson and these different things. Acceptable answers, right? The next thing I'm say is, hey, I'm running a sweepstakes. You know what I'm giving away? And then you're going to say, if you even say it's a KTM or dirt bikes or whatever, you know, that's, that's all you need to be able to say there. And then the, the third question, if we have to get to it is, what is my tagline? And the tagline is basically said at the end of every video, it's the end of every email, all this stuff, which is leave a single track. So anyway, those are the acceptable answers should be fairly easy. And we'll see if we can get people to do that. And then they're potential winners. And then they get vetted out by the sweepstakes administrator. 
at which point then um when they're totally vetted out then we can we can arrange shipping or whatever if they are close enough um i would love to come and drive and meet you halfway or something like that you're also totally welcome to come here and get the bike i've had people do that before um which is super fun so what else do we need to know case that's pretty much it cases like we've done this a lot i've had have you helped me draw out names on this before yeah so i've done it so much i used to have their mom used to help we used to do it as a big family thing um, but now that i'm single single dad and i'm over here and whatever then i'll usually get one kid to help me and kenzie obviously ran off she's like i'm bored she, she's like i don't need to be in here anymore She's going to go eat her Cheez-Its in silence. <clears throat> okay, so we got about 1,300 people watching, which is awesome. Okay, let's go ahead. I think without further ado, we're just going to go ahead and do this uh, thing and get it going. So Case is going, to, is going to mix this thing up just like that, and then you're going to open that up, and we're going to I – think, I think we're ready to go. I mean, and I think what I'm going to do is we're going to draw out our grand prize winner first – because the grand prize winner gets to choose between the bikes. So there's a 2024 KTM 300 XCW up for grabs, and then a 2023 KTM 250 XC up for grabs. They both have around, I don't even know, 10, 10 hours. I was going to go out there and look at them. Like right around 10 hours on both of the bikes. Um, and they're mostly stock. They've got like a couple, maybe different tires, a couple of protective parts. But essentially, they're both $12,000 dirt bikes. I think that's all we need. So we're just going to go ahead and, and uh, do this. So why don't you pop that off, Case? And we're going to draw, mix it up a little bit. And uh, you, Case has no idea. He can't see any of the names, but you just pick one out. And this will be our grand prize winner, which means this person is going to be, we're going to try to get them on the phone, and they're going to pick a bike. Okay. Pick one. Who do you, ooh. Oh my goodness. Okay. Ryan Chamberlain from Gilbert, Arizona. Ryan Chamberlain. You guys see that? Ryan Chamberlain, Gilbert, Arizona. Awesome thing about that is we could totally meet him halfway. We'd meet him down at Lake Powell. Okay. Or, or Page or whatever. Page, Arizona. So let's see. Where's Ryan's number? We're going to try to call Ryan right now. Okay. If anybody knows Ryan Chamberlain, Text him and tell him to answer his phone. Let's see. This is Ryan. Hey, Ryan, how's it going? Good, how are you doing? Hey, good. Do you have any idea who this is, Ryan? Yeah, this is Kyle from the Dirt Bike Channel, right? Oh my goodness, you got it. You got it. <laughs> Sweet. What are you are What's you up, are you watching the live feed by chance? I am not. I can get on. Though. No, you don't you don't need to get on it. <clears throat> you don't need to get on it. Um, so uh, what are you up to tonight? Uh just chilling. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So here's the here's the deal, Ryan. You have been selected as a potential winner, and you are. I'm live streaming this on YouTube right now. So be careful what you say. There's 1,400 people watching, and there'll probably be a lot more afterwards once this gets posted. So okay, here's how this works, though. In order for you to like, in order following the rules, I'm going to ask you three questions. Okay. These are really really easy questions, and you've already answered one of them. So you have to answer two of three questions correctly and you've already done one which is you know who i am okay. so that's pretty cool so basically that was the first question is do you know who i am and you you recognize my voice so you've already passed that that quiz um here's the here's the second question so i've been running a sweepstakes recently do you have any idea what the sweepstakes is about yeah it's your uh september uh two bikes drawing right yeah 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 totally and do you have it like that that is an acceptable answer but do you know like what i'm giving away what what the uh, options are there yeah you've got uh 300 xcw and uh 300 xc right oh man so you're great yeah you nailed it it's a 250 xc so and then and then so you've already passed the test you 
are basically my grand prize winner. We just need to vet you out. But then here's the last question. What's my tagline that I say at like the end of every video and stuff? Oh, no. Um, oh, no. This is just, this is just bonus because you've you've already passed the test, so it's no pressure. Okay. I feel terrible though because uh, I should know this because I do watch your videos and usually to the end to be honest. <laughs> there you go. So the 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 correct answer was leave a single track, but uh, it doesn't matter because yeah. you already nailed two of the three. So, dude, congratulations! Like at this point, all you have to do is tell me which bike you'd want because you are the first you're the first winner, so you get to pick between. The 2024 KTM 300 XCW or the 2023 250 XC? No way, bro. You're, you are kidding me. I've never like won anything before. This is so freaking awesome, man. Um, definitely got to go with the 300. Like, 300. Okay. Yeah. We're putting you down. I'm just going to make a note of this one sec. Okay. So you got the 300. Tell us, tell us a little bit. And so here's, here's how this works. So, Officially, you're what the le what the sweepstakes company wants me to say is you're a potential winner, and what right. that means is they're going to re. I'm going to give them your contact information after we get off this call or tonight or whatever, okay. and then they're going to want they're going to want like a like a um like a little winner's affidavit thing, and it's like you have to get it signed by a notary, and it just says you know who you are, where you live, your address, that kind of stuff. Okay. And then, and then it becomes official. So legally, I'm supposed to say you're a potential winner, but I've never had, I've never not had someone be able to come through on that. So, wow, sweet dude, awesome. This is incredible. Thank you so much. Um, I'm just like stunned and blown away, and really excited. So, thank you very much. Yeah, tell us a little bit about like what's your what's your riding experience? Like what what do you, how do you have a bike right now, or what's going on there? Yeah, I've uh, I've got a, a track bike and a trail bike. Um, I rode quads a bunch as a kid and wasn't really allowed to ride dirt bikes. Um, and then kind of had to wait until you know I was like a grown man and stuff to before I could afford it and started riding a couple of years ago. Like essentially once COVID kind of was in full swing. Um, so yeah, I've been riding for a few years now and <clears throat> like your story, man, it's just like been a lifesaver and complete life changer. And um man, I love this stuff so much. So I'm like beyond thrilled. Like I don't even have the words. That's awesome. It's it's a pretty amazing sport. And you're down in like you're in Chandler? In Gilbert. Yeah, Gilbert. Basically Gilbert, yeah, but it's like the Phoenix metro area. Yeah. So that is so cool. And with that, like, I mean, cause typically I'm shipping, well, if it's a longer drive, I typically ship the bikes, but I mean, in your case, it's highly possible. We could just kind of meet halfway, maybe like up in page or something like that. So that would be awesome. But yeah. Great. So do you, you have, who, who are you going to call first and tell them about this? Um, oh and probably, probably like a, a buddy that I ride mountain bikes with and have been like climbing with and like doing stuff with for the last decade and have been yeah. like trying so hard to get him into dirt bikes and just like constantly trying to plant that seed. So I think I'm going to call him and be like, so um, I just happen to have another dirt bike for you here to like get into. So yeah. here we go, dude, Look, let's do this. That's awesome. And you're probably coming into the good riding now as it starts to cool down there in in the, in the valley yeah for sure for so, sure it's getting good the summers can be rough um yeah but it's it's still good out at the track anyways but uh the season is coming that's awesome well congratulations ryan i couldn't be happier for you i always love it like the fact that you picked up the phone and the fact that you know who i am and just like the support you know you've you've been obviously supporting this um either through the the parts links or through you know my website or whatever and i just want to thank you man Thank you, man. Uh, yeah, I'm going to keep buying stuff through the link for sure. No doubt about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you, Kyle. Yeah. Well, any, uh, any parting words before we let you go to this? Uh, there's, there's like 1500 people watching this right now. So anything you want to say to those people? <laughs> um, man, like get out and ride, leave a single track and love it. Like enjoy life while it's there. You know, uh, 
dirt bikes are the best and i hope you all can get on ride as much as possible yeah thank you so much so i will watch for an email to come over for me either tonight or in the morning and it'll just be introducing you to the sweepstakes administrators that team and they'll okay. they'll take it from there and so like i said they'll want you to they'll give you some documents that'll need to be notarized you know so don't sign anything until you go in front of a notary and then right. and then sign in front of them and and then we'll be we'll be good to go we'll get it all figured out Oh man, I'm like freaking out. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Okay, have a good night, man. Hey, you too. Thank All right, you. Okay, bye. bye. That well, that actually worked super, super well. So we got we got our first one. So as as many of you guys know, sometimes these don't go super well. And in in the past, like these giveaway nights have been super, super stressful for me. In the past. I'm learning to kind of just let it go and let things flow. And I'm like, it doesn't always work. It doesn't always work out that well. So we've got, we've got at least 50% of our winners. We've got it figured out. So now we just have the 2023 KTM 250 XC that is, that is up for grabs. So I feel super good about that. So I've got Ryan down. Ryan Chamberlain is the grand prize winner, potential winner, right? Okay. So that went pretty well. Uh, now let's draw out our, runner up person who's also winning an amazing dirt bike in its own right for sure okay did you like that kenzie that yeah. guy he was a nice guy huh yeah he's a nice guy who you got case we got jeff van vorst oh my gosh another low another people local here in the west jeff van vorst is that what it is yeah jeff van vorst from colorado springs this is interesting because the last couple of times i've been shipping bikes to the east coast so the last two times we shipped a lot of bikes yeah, I've shipped like four bikes in a row to the East Coast and I haven't been able to meet anybody. Colorado Springs is a lot closer to me. So Arizona and Colorado Springs, I can probably meet um, both of these guys. So let me just write this down. If anybody knows Jeff Van Vorst, uh, send him a text. Okay, and he's going to get the 250 if we can get a hold of him. Well, um, we're going we're gonna to have faith that we can get a hold of Jeff. We got way too many digits in here. Okay, so where are you? All right, Jeff. Welcome to Verizon Wireless. Your call cannot be. Let's try that again. And then I have another. I might have a number for Jeff. Hopefully. forwarded to voicemail the person you're trying to reach is not available at the tone please record your message when you have finished recording you may hang up hey jeff um this is kyle uh brotherson can you give me a call back as soon as you get this um it's the number that this came from it's the 801 number um so yeah you should you should be able to see it in the voicemail here thanks jeff call me as soon as you can okay so he didn't answer it went straight to voicemail that either means his phone is off so we're going to, yeah, I did that. Yeah, the first time, oh my gosh, he's calling me back. Hello, this is Kyle. Kyle, this is Jeff Van Vorst. Jeff, did you get my message? Yes, yeah, so I was actually watching a live stream and <laughs> I've got a call filter on my thing and I've been trying to figure out how to turn it off all day. Yeah. Because I call it, it blocks unknown numbers. So I was like, ah, and then like I see my name, I'm hearts racing, I'm stoked. So, so you know who this is? Yeah, it's Kyle from the Dirt Bike Channel. Yes, it is. So, so I got a couple of questions for you. So you answered the first one, all right? Um, do you have any idea what sweepstakes I'm doing right now? Yeah, you're doing a September sweepstakes for the uh, 300 XCW and the 250 XC. Yeah. And what is my tagline that I say kind of at the end of videos and, and um, like on emails and stuff? We have a single track, brother. Oh my gosh. Okay. So this is really good news. So you were actually watching the live feed then, right? Yeah, I was. I was seeing my name and I was like, yeah. And then like, I try to go through that filter and try to turn it off. I'm like, no, he's trying to call me right now. Uh. 
Oh, that is so funny. Because the first the first time I fat fingered your phone number, I mixed up the last two digits, and it was like, oh, that went to it was like Verizon or something. I'm like, wait, I think I messed that up. So that's awesome. Congratulations, man. Heck yeah, dude. Thank you, man. This is awesome. Oh, so you obviously, if you were watching the live feed, so you know the the other guy picked the the 300, so you get the 250. All right. What do you think? Um, what do you think of that? I'm stoked with four, dude. So, I mean, it's, it's funny because I was actually listening to the other guy, and I had the same story. I got a buddy that I work with. He's been saving up for a dirt bike and telling him about all my rides on the weekends. And I just told him about it yesterday. I was like, man, I put in for this drawing. If I get it, you can come, you know, you can use it. You can come ride with us. And it's crazy. You know, they're like kind of the same story. So, you know, right. Try to get somebody else into it too and have somebody to ride with. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. That's amazing, man. So tell us a little bit about like what your riding experience has been through the years. How long have you been riding? Well, I've been riding about a year and a half. Um, I rode a lot of quads growing up and then just wanted to try something different. So I picked up a bike a year and a half ago and got really into it. And, I did do, uh, like, single track trails out here in Colorado. No, I didn't like racing or anything, but, no. Yeah. Um, I don't know my skill level. I'd stay up, still say I'm just beginner level, but getting better at it. Yeah, that's awesome. I love that. It sounds like we've got similar similar stories there. So, And it, it's it's like a lot of these, a lot of the viewers from my channel where it's like, you know, we're, we, we either got into dirt bikes, you know, later in life, or we just, you know, want to get out there and kind of recharge in nature. And it's been, it's been really fun. So yeah. that's, that's awesome. Who, so essentially, yeah, just, I'll tell you the same thing that I, that I told Ryan. So we'll have to, I'll send your information or I'll send you an email introducing you to the sweepstakes administrators. And then they'll want to get like a winner's affidavit from you and it'll have to be notarized and everything. Um, at which point then it'll become official. So pretty simple. Awesome. Sweet. So yeah. What, uh, so, and then you're, it's Colorado, is it Colorado Springs? Yeah. Sorry, just, just south of Denver. Okay, cool. Yeah. So we may be, we may be able to figure out just a time to, to meet up, which is fun because like I was saying, I, the last several, I, so many of the bikes that I've given away the last little bit have been going to the East coast. And so I haven't been able to meet anybody, um, but I think we could probably figure that out if we want. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So who's who's the first person you're going to call when you after we jump off here? Uh, probably going to call my buddy Alan from work when I was telling Bob. And, oh my god, it! Oh, that's so <laughs> awesome, so amazing. I well, congratulations, man. I'm just these are it's so fun. And tonight, like, went off kind of without a hitch. I was able to get a hold of both people relatively easily, and that doesn't usually happen. So, all yeah, right, I'm just and I'm still, yeah, this is awesome. I appreciate everything and love watching your videos. So, yeah, it's right. it's been a ton of fun. It's been it's been really rewarding over the last few years and meeting a lot of cool people and, and being able to kind of like change people's lives and give these bikes away. So, thanks for all the support that you've you know shown. Um, anytime you've used links or anytime you've clicked on, you know, bought anything, this is why it's, it still works. So I just wanted to thank you for that. Uh, anytime, man. Thank you. Okay. Well, do you have any, do you have anything you want to tell the audience that we still got like eight, 900 people that are still watching this thing just to, just to hear you. So you got anything you want to say to these people? No, I mean, no, man, I'm just, I'm still shaking kind of like hearts racing. Just can't believe I actually won it. Yeah. Well, that says it all. Heart, hands are shaking, yeah. hearts racing. I mean, uh, yeah. Somebody's got to win, and it was you, man. So, congratulations. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Awesome. Okay, I will. I'll cut. I'll cut you loose and uh, watch that email either tonight or in the morning to come over. Right. Okay. All right, man. Thank you so much, right. Jeff. Have a good night. Thank you too. Okay. All right. Bye. bye. Well, that's pretty freaking cool. We got both of them on the line. That was amazing. Um, so let's go ahead. Let's. I'm just going to write on here. So Jeff was our runner up, just like that. And then Ryan was our grand prize winner. Do you guys want to see who the other people are in the thing? You probably do, huh? Grand prize. Let's see. Does anybody want to see who else was in the draw here? 
I think they probably do. Lots of people saying yes, yes, yes. So um, here we go. We had uh, Joseph Valenzuela from Reno, Nevada. I don't think I've ever given a bike to anyone in Reno. We also had Scott Wickoff in Salt Lake City. Scott Wickoff, Salt Lake City. Uh, we had um, Ron Briggs from, what is that? Ron Briggs from Meadow Vista, California. So, so far, this is pretty West dominant. Now we're going to the East. We had Stephen Barbro. Is it Bar Bar Barbo? Stephen Barbo. Stephen Barbo from Cumberland, Rhode Island. Never done a bike to Rhode Island. I was thinking about that earlier when I was cutting these names up. I was like, I was like, how would we do Rhode Island? Uh, we had Jonathan Carey from Nampa, Idaho. Um, so, so it was pretty West dominant this time. A lot of sometimes we're we're all over. But then we also had Andrew Jones from White River Junction in Vermont. So there we go. All basically all the way you can get up into there. I think I gave. A, did we give a bike away to somebody in? New Hampshire, can't remember. Um, and then we also had jo here's another Colorado one, Jordan Huffman from Inglewood, Colorado. And last but not least, oh, we had David Schmidt from Yuma, Arizona. So yeah, this time this time was definitely west west heavier. Um, and sometimes people people are like, well, why is that? And I'm like, well, if you look at the demographics on my channel, most of the people are actually watching in the west. Um, most of the people as you maybe it might not surprise you most of the people watching are actually from California and then because of the because of the fact that we're lo I'm local here in Utah and there's like that kind of I don't even know Utah bias or whatever Utah punches way above its weight class as far as viewership and then customer base probably because I am here in Utah and then obviously there's a lot of single track in Arizona and Idaho and Colorado and so people identify with my channel like really well there but we've been given we've Given bikes to Georgia, Florida, you know, Carolina in the Carolinas. Um, yeah. And then a bunch on also New York and Vermont and these types of things. So it's a pretty good cross section of the country. Um, I want to just thank everybody for, um, for your support on this stuff. These giveaways are hard to do and they get harder and harder every single time. Product cost is through the roof and shipping absolutely kills me. So the price, like, and a lot of people complain about the shipping when they're like going to buy something on my website, you know, cause they're like, Hey, how come it's so much to ship this product? And my answer is it's actually more expensive than what it costs you. So if it's costing you $12 on the website to ship it, it's probably costing me 12 to 15. I mean, well, if it, if it's charging you 12, it's costing me 15 to $16 to get that shipped to you. Um, so it's gotten very, very difficult with the margins and things. Um, I am going to do one more for sure. It's going to be in, we were having marketing me meetings on it today. It will be the December sweepstakes and it will be a 2020, it'll be the 2024 KTM uh, 300XC and a 2024 KTM 300XCW hard enduro bike. Now people will say, well, why so many KTMs? Well, it just goes it, like with the way that the off-road market is, uh, the KTMs draw more like attention in these sweepstakes. I have enough data to show it when I've done Shurkos, when I've done betas, when I've done Hondas, when I've done Kawasaki's, um, they, those sweepstakes don't do as well. And since the margins are razor thin already, I'm like, I'm like, I've got to do a couple more KTMs to kind of end out this year. So that'll be happening. I think we're going to start that on black, black Friday. We'll do black Friday through the end of the year. So if you were thinking about buying anything on my website, dirtbikechannel.com, don't do it. Wait until Black Friday. But if you want to use the links for Rocky Mountain ATV, that is literally the best way to support me because those links don't cost you anything and they don't cost me anything. But Rocky Mountain ATV is awesome. They've been such a great partner through the, through the years. And I like, I mean, they'll pay me a kickback on those orders. And I, I constantly talk about Rocky Mountain ATV because they're amazing. Uh, it's it's hard to beat their selection. It's impossible to beat their pricing and their customer service. Every time I've needed customer service, it's always been bang on. It's been it's been top notch. So I've really enjoyed that. Um, I try to make these giveaways. These giveaways are as fair as I can possibly do. They're as uh, transparent as I can possibly do. Um, and so I just want to thank everybody for for supporting it. Um, these these children right here are supported by you. So it's. Uh, 
I try not to get emotional at the end of these giveaways, um, but it's like a big release of emotional energy um, to be able to do this. Uh, and um, like bless people's lives. You know, there are people, there are some people that get upset and they're like, man, why couldn't it go to somebody who, who really needed it uh, or somebody who couldn't afford a bike or whatever. And my, my, uh, my counter to that is we don't know what anyone is going through. And so just because, just because we on the outside, we look at somebody and we say, oh, well, they didn't need that. Um, they didn't need that blessing or whatever, or there's somebody more deserving. I'm just like, dude, I'm not in control of this stuff. Uh, no one is in control of this stuff. This is happening at a total random. And you don't know what anyone is going through. So I just assume that every one of these winners um, absolutely needed it. And then it was a godsend for them. And that's how I look at it. So yeah, it's, it's humbling. It's humbling to do this. Whew. And if you think this is easy, uh, you're mistaken. So anyway, love these kids, love these winners. And uh, until next time, thank you so much. And leave a single track, everybody.